Good afternoon everybody and welcome to Will on Safety. Today we're going to have a look at the legal reasons for good health and safety management. Let's get into it. So some of the legal reasons for good health and safety management then. As laws are made to protect human rights, it compels the employer to do what is moral to, to, to do what he or she morally should do in order to take reasonable care of the employees. Laws define the framework that governs the conduct of businesses and organisations. It sets the rights and responsibilities of employers and employees so that they can be made accountable for that. In order to get a licence to operate, one needs to oblige local laws. Failure to achieve minimum standards set by laws can lead to enforcement actions and prosecutions before a court of law. Legal reasons also include preventative reasons to avoid enforcement notices, such as improvement notices and prohibition notices. It also includes preventing punitive damage, where the criminal prosecution due to the breaches of legal duty may result in a fine for the organisation and imprisonment or fine uh, or both to individuals. There is also a compensation, compensationary effect of law where employees are able to sue in civil, civil courts uh, for compensation claims by providing negligence uh, of the employer. Correction, by proving negligence of the employer. And organisations have a legal responsibility to ensure the health and safety of their employees, customers and other stakeholders. So failing to do that can result in heavy fines, penalties, even jail time. Beyond their legal implications, managing health and safety is just simply good practice. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, check my other videos out. You know, give me a like and subscribe if you'd be so kind. It's going to help Will on Safety grow. And I'm going to keep sharing this good health and safety content for you. Until next time, folks, remember, stay safe by choice and not by chance. Bye for now.